Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I'm Tamela Rakin Kolier, and these are the stories we're following at the moment. As to Saturday off cycle governorship election in Bayasa Iman Koge State, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Ainek Mahmoud Yakubo, says the recently held election has offered some lessons to the electoral body. In a statement, Yakubo said the commission has received assurance from the security agencies that the environment will be secure for electoral activities and all participants, including voters, electoral officers, accredited observers, the media and police coalition agent. And in its effort to stem the tide of revenue loss in the solid mineral sector, the federal government has traded a total of 120 youth and women in Plateau State on artisanal and small-scale mining. The week-long capacity building was done through the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission in partnership with the United Nations Development Program. Chairman of RMAFC Research and Development Committee, Ajashinto Kubo, decried the low contribution of the solid mineral sector to Nigeria's revenue earnings, blaming it on the non-formalization of the activities of many actors in the sector. Bandits suspected to be airsmen have attacked a Costa school bus belonging to a Catholic school, St. Paul's College, AK, in Udi local government area of Enugu State, killing a female student. The bandits suspected to be perpetrators of kidnapping activities in the area also left several other students with severe bullet wounds. According to report, many of the victims were bullet with and currently battling for survival in an undisclosed hospital. The High Commission of Canada in Nigeria says visa application sentence in Abuja and Lagos remains open to the public. Demlade Koshimani, the Communication and Public Affairs Officer of the High Commission of Canada in Abuja, issued a statement in response to the recent fire outbreak that occurred at a portion of the High Commission's building in Abuja on Monday. According to Koshimani, visa application to Canada in the country is still in operation. And the International Monetary Fund IMF has warned that China's slow economic, economic recovery will negatively affect sub Saharan African economies like Nigeria, where a 1% point decline in growth could lead to a loss of 0.5 points on average. The international lender disclosed this in a statement warning sub Saharan African economies of the negative impact of China's slowing economic growth. The agency lamented that the slowdown in the global economy and the subsequent slowdown in China's manufacturing sector sector have both impacted the country's recovery from the pandemic. And on the global scene, approximately 700 people were reportedly killed in West Darfur after clashes between the Sudanese Army and Paramilitary Rapid Support Force RSF in the El Genia on November 4 and 5th, the International Organization for Migration IOM has said. The agency also added that 100 were injured and three other persons were reported missing and are still missing. And in sports, the video assistant referee, which is supposed to help cut out egregious and costly referee mistakes, have come under controversies and backlash as the technology has come under heavy fire from Premier League managers who have lost faith in the system. The VAR was introduced in the 2019-2020 season for clear and obvious error or serious missed incident in specific situations. However, Phillips are running high after high prolific incidents that have overshadowed the actions on the pitch. And that's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I'm Tam Laura. I can call you. Bye for now.